Hi, I got this in the mail yesterday. This is a adapter to allow your cell phone and camera to mount on this and then uh, adjust it and clamp it onto with this little clamp here. Let me take that out so you can just see it better. There's a clamp here so you can attach it to a, a telescope binoculars or even a microscope uh, my aim was for a microscope unfortunately well I have two microscopes I have a good one a better one older one and uh, the, some of the gears are stripped and that it needs to be clean really badly and stuff like that and so uh, I don't use it as often or as much and I was at a yard sale last year they had a microscope for 20 bucks and I bought it and it it's you know how these this, these crappy toy microscopes that you get for $25 and you can hardly see through them? Well, this is one step up. In other words, <coughs> this would be a bottom microscope that uh, has a lot more functionality, but certainly would have its socks blown off by anything that is more expensive. But uh, So I was fooling with that, with that the other day, and the first thing I noticed is this does not clamp down far enough for the the outside diameter of the eyepiece on my microscope so uh i jerry-rigged some things in there actually layers of cardboard so i could attach it and i uh fooled with it a little and you know i got some pictures now i've got a long way to go uh if you're know something about microscopes you're immediately going to see things wrong with these uh just like I found out, this is the first time I've spent any time using this microscope. The diaphragm on the bottom, when you click it in place, is actually off-center. So you're not getting an even uh, light channel through. Uh, alignment issues. There's quite a few uh, problems with using a really inexpensive microscope. And most people would say, you know, if they're really using microscope seriously they have a better microscope and they would have a camera and they certainly would not be using the lens on the camera they would be using the bare sensor in other words something like a dslr or uh, a mirrorless camera but the idea is they'd remove that lens and they'd put an actual adapter in that fits into the microscope you know uh, with precision very similar to an eyepiece would and i actually have one of those adapters and uh for uh, konica cameras but you can you can get them with these things called key adapters and as long as you can find a key adapter for your camera uh you can do it so uh that is the better way because you remove a whole set of optics that can degrade usually the more optics you have the more you you tend to degrade an image but so anyway we're trying for some quicker results we're using cell phone camera and uh like i say kind of some alignment issues or whatever with this and and with my microscope itself uh this does have a tripod adapter uh i would think to put this on a tripod with a a binocular or a monocular or whatever uh you know, it might not work out that well. In other words, this is kind of a nominal thing, but under the right conditions, you can get something with it. And what I'm gonna do now at the end of this short video, I'm just gonna show you uh, a couple snaps of a peacock feather that was with this little microscope that I took pictures of. And uh, we're gonna go from there. And the ultimate aim of this was to be able to uh, photograph some spores, mushroom spores, and uh, this this in, more inexpensive microscope might not be up to that task. I might have to go to my other one and get this the gearing uh, fixed. In other words, when you focus it, it doesn't stay where you focus it. It tends to just slide, like the, like I say, like the gears are stripped. And uh, you know, it I bought it for forty dollars in a pawn shop, not pawn shop, thrift shop maybe, I don't know, 20 years ago or more. So uh, we're going to do some 
try to do some a little more serious things but i wanted to show you this and i'm gonna i will try to do some pictures with a binocular to kind of show you whether how easy it is to do or not to do and i'm saying with a microscope it's <clears throat> it's a chore to use something like this and like i say the regular adapters everything fits right into place and everything's centered and you're not introducing more optics so uh, the potential for getting a really good image is quite a bit higher than with this but there we go more to come in the future keep watching for a couple stills bye